Welcome, dear viewers, to this new video, which is about the Bluetooth HC05HC06 module. In this video, we will create an application. This application will enable us to communicate with the Bluetooth module, and this module will be serially connected to the Arduino board, which in turn will control a lamp. As you can see, we have the application on the phone, and then we have this setup. When pressing this button in the application, a signal or information will be sent. This information will be captured by the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module will then send it to the Arduino board serially, and the Arduino board will run this relay by giving it 5 volts. Thus, the relay will close the electrical circuit, and the lamp will light up. It will remain lit until we press the OFF button. By pressing it, we will send this information, sending 0 in this case instead of 1. This zero will be captured by the Bluetooth module, which will send it to the Arduino Uno. Then the Arduino Uno will give zero volts at its output to the relay, and the lamp will be turned off. To design the application in a simplified manner, I will rely on this tool, MIT App Inventor. You can visit it through this link and create an account to be able to design your own application. I will press Create App. You can visit some lessons here to learn more about this tool. I will just press start new project. I will give it the name Bluetooth control. After that, this interface appears with a smartphone on it. We have these two interfaces. The first is called design, where you can design the application, and the second is called blocks, where you can write the logic behind all these components that have been placed in the design, like buttons and others. The good thing about this tool, MIT App Inventor, is the ability to drag and drop components directly into the design. You can preview it and arrange this interface in an organized manner. It will need layout, then horizontal arrangement. I will drag two and place them on the screen. In the first one, I will place the texts, and in the second, I will place the buttons. As you can see on this side, you can change the settings of the components. For the height, I will give it 100 pixels and for the width, I will let it take all the available space. I will do the same for these. And I can also change the background color to orange and this one to blue. Then, I will need a label or a place to display the text. I will drag it and place it here. After that, I can change the height and the width. As well as the font size, and change the text to Bluetooth control. In addition, I will need a list picker, a feature that allows me to choose the device connected via Bluetooth. I will also drag it and place it here. Then I will change the name to list picker underscore Bluetooth, and the font size, as well as the width and height. Then, I will need a button, one to turn the lamp on and one to turn it off. Similarly, I will change the settings and the colors. Also, in addition to this design, we will need a tool that enables us to use Bluetooth functions on our phone. This can be found in this window, Connectivity, then Bluetooth Client. After dragging it, it is non-visible, meaning it doesn't appear here, and it allows us to use Bluetooth on the device, thus connecting to the Arduino. Now, I will move to the blocks, the other interface, where I will write the logic for this application. We will need list picker before picking, which is an event, and upon pressing it, it will display the paired devices via Bluetooth. We will need this block. Then in the blocks, we will need addresses, meaning addresses and names of paired phones or devices. Then after the selection is made, we will need this. In this case, the block after picking means after the selection, and then we will need this if statement. Then we will test the condition as Bluetooth client. Connect address list picker, selection, meaning this will be tested. 
it will return either true or false depending on whether the selected device is connected or not. If it is, we will display in the text or label that we placed before that it is connected, so I will press on label, then set label text. Then we will add text. If this is not achieved, we will display that. Thus, we have finished connecting via Bluetooth. After I finish the part related to the Bluetooth connection, I will now program the part related to the buttons. When the button is pressed, a message will be sent, and this message will be read by the Arduino and understood, thus turning the lamp on or off depending on the message. I will take this event when the button is pressed, then it must first check whether the device is connected to the Arduino. We will need this if statement, then we will go to Bluetooth client, then Bluetooth client that is connected to ensure the Bluetooth connection. If the connection is active, we will send a message. Again, Bluetooth client. Send text. Then we will send text for example, 1. I will do the same for the second button, the off button. I will copy this part, then I will select the second button, the off button, and send a message containing 0, which will be understood by the Arduino as an off command, while 1 is an on command. Thus, I have finished designing this application. To install it on an Android device, we will need to build the APK file, which is done through build, and then wait a bit. Building the APK file was successful, so we can download it directly. I will press download, then save it on the computer. After downloading, I will copy this file to my device, an Android tablet. After that, I will copy the file, then select the appropriate location to save the file on the device. On the Android device, I will go to the file manager, then I will install this application. As you can see, the installation was successful. I will press on the list picker. As you can see here, no devices appear connected because this application is not allowed to pair. To change that, I will go to settings, then to apps, then to nearby devices and change it to allow, meaning allow pairing. Then after that, I will go to Bluetooth, then pair with the Bluetooth module. Pairing, and I will give a pin. As you can see, the pairing is done. I will go back to the application, press again. I can see the paired devices. I will select the Bluetooth module. After finishing building and installing the application, I will now make this electrical connection. I will need a small LED lamp, then I will need the Bluetooth module and connect it to the Arduino Uno board. Then I will program the Arduino board to be able to communicate with the Bluetooth module and thus with the Android device. The program is as follows. First, we will define pin 7 to be the control pin, then we will define this variable state, in which we will store the sent information. Then, in the setup function, we will set the control pin as output and set it initially to 0 volts, meaning off. Then we will set the data flow rate to 9600 bytes per second. Then in the loop function, we will first check the data flow. If it is correct, we will read this data, then we will check the value of the data. If it is 0, we will turn off the lamp, while if it is 1, we will turn on this lamp or light it up. After finishing the previous setup, I will now turn on a 230 volt lamp instead of an LED lamp. I will use the control pin to control this relay, which in turn controls the lamp. Care must be taken when connecting to avoid any electrical shock. Thus, we come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all new content and share your ideas and questions in the comments. Until next time, stay creative and explorative.